This video is on an introduction to the cart designer. To reach the cart designer, you'll go up to cart settings and appearance settings. Here you'll see all the different templates or skins. You can either preview them or activate them. If you want to activate the cart designer, you'll click the link here. and it will take you to a editor of your site. And at the bottom, you'll see the design toolbar, which is where you'll be making most of your changes. As you can see here, when I roll over the information, it is highlighted in a red box, which means also this can be edited as well. If you want to edit, you'll right click. You'll see edit visual properties, which is usually for the beginners of the cart, the WYSIWYG editor, and editing the source code. Both the WYSIWYG editor and the source code are for more advanced users. When we go into the styles editor here, you'll see that you'll be able to edit anything that's within the site. All you have to do is click it open, it'll open the tree, and you can go to a specific area to edit. On the right, you'll see you can change font information, which is the actual style of the font, the color, and the size. You can also edit the background. That will allow you to give it a color or an image. And you can also change where it positions. And the preview at the bottom will show you it as well. Here, if you click the CSS tab, you can make custom changes if you're familiar on how to do that. Once you're done, you usually hit save. And here I'll click OK to save my changes. Here at the bottom you'll see all the buttons that you can click to get to specific areas to edit the cart. Right now we'll do Edit Site Images under the Images button. Here are all different options. Normally there'll be pictures under each option that show you what you can change or keep. You can click Browse to upload your own. Next, we'll go to the WYSIWYG editor, and here you can make the custom changes via the code. And if you plan on using JavaScript, you can find more information on how to use the JavaScript correctly. And the source code is very similar. You can make the changes here, and then you can save the information. Once done, you can save all your changes here again. You can exit, or you can hide the design toolbar. This has been a video on an introduction to cart design.